So I'm finishing up my yoga session here in Denver. I'm at the gym. Ran into uh, this little boy this morning. And I want to tell the story of what happened because what I learned from it was that you have to you have to have something to fall in love with. You have to have something to believe in. Let me explain. I'm uh <laughs> minding my business. You know, I'm rocking my <laughs> rocking my Chicago Bears hat. <laughs> right? So I'm going to the Chicago Bears game uh versus Denver Broncos on Sunday. It's actually a free your energy hat. Ooh. Free your energy. So this little boy, he looks at me and he's like, hey, you know your bears are gonna get that ass kicked on Sunday, right? Now this, <laughs> this little boy is like eight to ten years old. He's in that in that rate range, right? He has no business talking that way. Okay, he's with his dad. And his dad kind of looked at him like, Why the hell are you talking to that guy? Be quiet, don't you know? And so I just used the moment to run with it. The dad was there. And I said, you got another thing coming, buddy. My bears are coming for you. And then so me and this little boy, we started talking about football. And we just started talking about defense and offense, who's better, who's worse, game plan. And he, he was very knowledgeable. What I realized about talking to this boy was that he's 8, 10, maybe he's 11. But he's found something that he loves, okay? He loves the Denver Broncos. He loves football. He also bonds with his dad. And his dad, you know, introduced him to football. Ended up talking to him and the dad. I mean, they watch football together. They go to games together. They tailgate together. They have different jerseys that they wear. They talk about the sport. And so that, that's what makes me believe, you know, just, just talking to that boy, uh, joking with him, being competitive with him. Uh, letting him, he was being his true self, and he, he he was allowing me to just be my true self. The dad was letting him, be, you know, be his true self, and we just, over that moment, we just had a, a spiritual connection of that moment, and we stayed in the moment. And I believe in my Bears in Chicago. That's the team I grew up rooting for. He lives in here in Denver. He believes in his team. And I just think it's so cool when you have different elements of your life where you can just, you just fall in love with it. You know, you just fall in love with it and you just you just let it inspire you. And it can be something that's totally outside of you, something you can't control. And I just think it's awesome when you have a favorite character in a book or a favorite character in a TV show or you go see a cinema or movie and, and you just, you know, fall in love with the characters and you're just you allow the cinema or the movie or the play to just take you outside of your element, of your thinking, of your life, of your your problems, of your goals. When you can just go completely out of your element. We all need those things. I mean, let's just be honest. So many of us have, have dreams and goals and, and desires. And some of us are overthinking, dealing with sadness, depression, confusion, uh, a, a lack of understanding. And so... A lot of us have a lot going on in our heads. And so when we can find those moments where we're just in love with the moment and we're just in love with the character or we're just in love with an idea or maybe a process. I mean, I'm a writer. I love writing. I love the process of writing. Maybe you guys love the process of, you know, doing yoga or just building blocks or, you know, cooking for someone or cooking for yourself, whatever it may be. Don't forget to fall in love with different elements of life and you know, just believe in things that maybe they're stupid or silly or maybe they have nothing to do with your life, but they allow you to just uh, escape, you know, and, and not necessarily escape in a negative way, meaning, you know, you never deal with your problems. You know, you can you can deal with your problems the best of your ability, but then you can also have a beautiful escape like hiking or, you know, maybe you love riding your bike. Just find things to fall in love with. You know, the more things that you do, you know, love is about activity. Love is about action to me. The more things that you do that you love, the more that you create a life that you love. I love traveling. So when I travel, I just, I come alive. Like I'm so inspired. I'm so curious. I'm challenged. I'm, I'm learning. I love traveling. Like traveling is, I've written 55 to 75% of my books traveling, whether it's in an airplane, on a bus, in the backseat of an Uber. Um, at a ho at a hotel, at a at a restaurant, at a coffee shop. I love just traveling around, at the beach, um, you know. So just find what you love. I love traveling. I love writing. 
Um, I love sports, you know, and I love there's certain teams I try to root for. There's certain players I try to root for. And I try to attach myself early. I'm like, okay, that's my team, you know. I've been a Bears fan my whole life. I've been through it all. <laughs> I've been a Cubs fan, not my whole life, but most of my life now. And so I just, I just think that we all have to continue to find things that we love. And as we go and grow through life, what you love changes. And I think you have to allow yourself to change. And you have to allow yourself to grow. And that's my story for today. And I appreciate you guys for listening. If you didn't know, I, have, I do have a podcast. My podcast you can listen to is called the Free Your Energy Podcast. Also make videos on YouTube that you can check out if you want. You know, just type my name in, Sylvester McNutt the Third. There's only one of me. And um, I'm also on Instagram and all your other social media apps that you guys use. So I just want to thank you for your time today. I hope this, this video helped you free your energy. I hope you take some actions today that help you free your energy. We all need to just continue to find what we love. And uh, see you guys on Sunday, Denver Bronco fans, Chicago Bear. This is my first Bear away game this year. Last year, I went to two away games, Chicago Bear away games. Um, this year, I'm going to try to go to four. This will be my first one. We'll see, if, we'll see if I get to all four. Thank you. Free your energy. Free your energy. Free your energy.